Well, my stomach is full of Easter dinner leftovers, and I suck the souls of 3,000 children, so I have all that joy bubbling inside of me, so I think we're going to go ahead and try to channel that straight into our gameplay today. Also, somebody just popped a skin booster, and I actually haven't seen the new skin Scully has, so let me check. I've never seen this skin in my life, and it looks pretty cool. What's this called? Spy Master. Okay. Me, when I drill a hole in your bedroom wall to watch you sleep at night? <laughs> Yeah, um, that was a joke for legal reasons. Now, Kali is an assassin I like quite a bit. If I can show you really quick, I only have a few diamond assassins, including Kali, uh, Mercury, Naja, and Daji. I think Mercury was first, I know that for sure. Kali, I want to say, was the second one on that list, and I like her quite a bit. I mean, she's just fun. You can just go in and hold left click, and that's what we're going to be trying to do today. I'll show you a little build that I have cooked up once we do get in game here um and we'll have a little bit of fun if we can and just see what kind of a match we can get looks like on the enemy team could be good for us because they have an anubis although he can cc me pretty easily obviously but if i can just pop my ult and just like stick on him with autos it could be a free kill for the most part but a bacchus and a, and a mirror if they peel me off of him it's gonna be really hard for us to get our kills late game or maybe even early if they're actually peeling really hard so we'll have to be a little careful of that but we will focus him first i think and see if we can get like an early mid gank we'll start our two and for the build we're going to start with a boomba's dagger take that to a hammer later on we can do some auto cancels and stuff to really get some maximum efficiency out of that take it straight into a golden blade and of course we're going to go for a golden shard so we can just clear as easy as possible with our autos early on take that to a serrated edge and then an executioner which we will be taking into an envenom executioner obviously the anti-heal and stuff will be good for the shock and the anubis but also just cutting down there our protections is good right there then we're going to go for a hastening katana so we can stick on our enemies and then go to a chin size or an odibo the thing is we can't fit both of these in here because we're actually going to go back later on and sell golden blade this does give us some movement speed which is very nice but you only need it early for clearing and you don't need as much later game for clearing because you're not taking as much damage so it's not a big deal so what you want to do is go ahead and sell something like this which has like 25 power on it and 20 percent attack speed and get chins which has five percent more attack speed and five more power on it so obviously just a straight bump up there we will go for a blink it could be a little risky but it's nice to be able to blink into an enemy and then be able to um just jump afterwards if we need to get out of trouble very easily so that's good to look at there and we will go for four well actually we'll stick three three just keep it even there and that's basically the gist of everything there so late game we're gonna be having a lot of attack speed and just trying to shred down the enemies because they do have those three tanks basically with bacchus shock and amir so a chin size build would be very good for us okay sure i'm doing good you start whatever you want buddy um so if we can chop them down with some chin size and odibo later on it could be really good for us and then we could even just let our teammates take care of like the carries while we sit and like maybe and go behind like in a mirror or a shock or something and just like hit him in the butthole or something you feel me or we could even play with our adc's late game um and hit the tanks that are full sending on them so like a shock is full sending on our cuckoo for instance we could just sit on top of him you want to get your nato down buddy there we go no no you're good i'm just trying to get a good lash on these jungle camps so i needed to kind of walk over to you this is why i was thinking of going splits on these pots a little differently but it's kind of fine okay maybe you guys don't play kali often because she is actually kind of a um god that i feel like i don't see much pick on what we can do here is jump you want to get the enemy that you're going to jump on as low health as possible and then jump on them because the more health they're missing the more you heal and it is also only one enemy that that procs on so if you jump on three of these minions let's say for instance and they each have low health it's only going to give you the heal from the minion with the lowest amount of health so whichever one of those minions right there had the lowest amount of health, that's the one we were going to heal off of. I don't have level 3 yet, which kind of sucks. I won't even use my blink. I'm just going to run at this kid. And we'll just kind of jump on him and do some deeps. Awesome, awesome. Just die here because he shouldn't have wall or anything. Ooh, that was a nice NATO by him. This might be a little crazy mode, but Mama didn't raise no little dick boy. And that's my target, so I full heal. And then we'll uh, probably kick it over here and clear this. Hey, it's no problem, Cuckoo. I'm, I'm kind of cracked with it. What can I say? Amir's not even contesting this. Awesome. We'll heal off this again. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate the help. Sorry, I kind of messed your wave player up there. Enemies in the right, 
Yes, he is. Well, you know what I'll do is I'll help you clear there. And then maybe we can gank his butt. Because we know he's going to be on these arms over here. Oh, he's not. Fascinating. Careful there, pal. He might wall me here. It's a risk I'm willing to take. But he's not going to. Um, I'm going to go for our Tiki camp since he's kind of boxing me out of these neutral uh, farms here. Say good luck to this guy because I'm not really going to chill with him too much. And I'm glad that we um, picked that Anubis as our first target. I thought it would be a good one. You know, fighting through an Amir and stuff like that early can be a little tricky. But, you know, we were able to do it. Use our Blink masterfully there. And just did what we needed to do. You want to go ahead and do these? Oops, I see you there. I see you there. It's good, Chief. We're going to stun him out of his one there. Wait for that to wear off. And I don't know. You want to just do this since it's already taking damage from you? Don't know where Amir is, so we'll have to back off there a little bit. We'll heal off these. And then we'll go get our buff camps, hopefully. And then he can come. Yeah, I was going to say. He can walk over here as soon as he's ready. I'm going to use my jump to get over this wall so I can aggro this. We have purple tiki first, which is really good for us. And luckily, I grabbed that for the team. So on the first uh, rotation here for everybody's buff camps, everybody's going to be able to get this. Now, you don't need to use your three on buff camps, but it does give you a power boost, as I can show you right here. So you do want to use it sometimes. Oh. <laughs> I was pretty sure I was standing on my yellow there. <laughs> That's my bad. It's okay. He'll be even faster now. Um, so yeah, you can use your three if you want a power speed boost. Noise. I was thinking about ganking left after I get this, but maybe I don't need to now. Oh, right. I do need a back, by the way, and get my golden blade. It'll be a, a nice early game power spike for us that we can just farm with afterwards. So, we do want to go grab that. And we'll do just that. He's grabbing the second yellow buff. What a doofball. That's so funny. We'll get some wards for him that we can use towards mid. And I'm thinking of a little right lane gank. I'll stay on my way. We see that box is really low. Obviously, he's super far away, though. Maybe right mids, too. Xing Chen's not even here to help him do these, so I will. You want some help here, bud? There you go. There you go. And we'll keep leveling our two here. We'll put him a little ward there. And we'll say gank to this guy. Could do this camp. You want to do this on the way? That's fine. Ooh, she's going for that side camp. That's perfect for us. If she actually goes for that. She just popped her three. Or her two, excuse me. So she sees me? Interesting. Do you have a beads? You have meditation. Be able to dodge that really quick. So you're actually knock up immune. And Kali four. I'm gonna body block this guy if I can. I'm gonna try to stop him from dropping over the wall here. Can't quite, but we will be able to steal this purple. And I'll leave him a little ward right here. So he's capable to see any junglers coming in the future. And I'll probably clear these mid lefts here, right, excuse me. I was having them on my left mini map, so I got confused. <laughs> Buddy, do you want to do these two? <laughs> awesome. Yes, you do, don't you? How are you doing, Cuckoo? Looks like you're winning lane. You do buff camp first. Yeah, we can do Tiki camp. I like it, I like it. Yellow Tiki might be the preference that some of these teammates have. And if it is, I completely understand. Get that on all of them. Okay. Cool. Enemy team might have six here. I suppose we'll see. And... That's 12.50 for this T2, so we're actually getting really close. If we do these side camps here and the back yellow, then we'll have enough to just go back and grab that. And I'll level save here. That was a good gank on the ADC, though. I, I wasn't sure if we actually like needed it, really. And I saw she was level 4, and I went, oh, well, she doesn't even have a I might as well just bully her. And I'm glad I did. 
That's unfortunate, though, that he left middle lane and went all the way over there just to do that. Serrated is good for us. If you don't know what Serrated does, you can pause and read it right there really quick. Um, but to put it simply for you, it gives us power based off the abilities we use that are non-ultimate abilities of the three stacks. And it also gives us uh, up to 9% um, physical lifesteal. Excuse me, I burped. And obviously that's very good for us when we have high attack speed and we can just chop somebody up and heal, heal, heal as much as possible. You want to do these with me? Cool. Why don't you have an enemy missing this dick? <laughs> Man, I'm good. Never fail. These jokes never fail. I'm gonna jump now. Ah. Like I said, knock up immune. Damn, I'm not gonna be able to reach that. I actually have. Whoa! Oh my god, I'm so slow. Like, I understand your slow should be strong. Ooh, he missed that wall. That was too fast. That was a crazy slow. Who's my target? Bacchus? And if I could kill him, actually. This is so stupid for me to stay. Yeah, I need to get out. You can't reach me? <laughs> okay, let's get out. Fuck. Blink. I didn't know his blink is down. So now he can't get on that fight like he wants to. Eh, we'll go get Red Tiki. I would run back to that side of the map, but the way I see it, by the time I get there, most of the fight should be completely over, uh, if not all of the fight. So it'd be kind of a waste. Yeah, see, they're already dispersing. So yeah, there's no reason really for me to run there. When I could run in here and maybe take some of the enemies farm as well, and maybe even gank this left lane in a second. First, I would like to get our buff camps here. I think he sees the same thing. We'll start leveling our three now, so we can start getting up more of a power spike from it. And that'll help us out when we're doing these little ganks, because we're building a lot of attack speed, but then our three gives us power. So if you ever like, do I need to build power on Kali? No, not really, because your three gives you your power bump, and it gives you most of the power that you need. And then the rest of your items will give you more little trickles of power. For the most part, you just want to kind of chop, and that's why you want something like a uh, Chen's build and an Odibo build. Because you can just sit there and frag them with attack speed rather than going crazy. Nah, unport. Remember that Bacchus is my target. So I full send under tower and kill him. I would full heal. Oh. Whoa. What the fuck? Gonna throw a little lash in there. Well, the Anubis just insulted me. <laughs> so weird. Yes, yes, yes. TP, TP, TP. Aw. Nothing? Okay. Oh wow. Big damage from him. I'm assuming she might have ult, but I really Whoa! He's still my target. It's gonna be a huge kill. on. Nice. He actually stole my kill, unfortunately. Uh, which means I didn't heal as much. What is the... Heal on assist is only 15%. Heal on kill is 40%. Oh yeah, we get penetration. Wait, what do we get penetration from? Oh yeah. Oh, you get the penetration against that god. I completely forgot about that. Did they change that? Was it always like that? I have not played Kali in a long time. I forgot about our passive. Makes more sense, though. And I'm fine dying for that, by the way, because we got two kills. Aren't they not, wait, did they only kill... No, they killed Bacchus too, right? He's only died once. Was that... Did he die there? I was barely looking. I might focus... Enemy missing Maybe even on me. Maybe I could stick on him a little bit. I think we're at that point where I could kind of stick on him. And maybe with the extra penetration from our passive and stuff, and especially with a full serrated, just chop him down. Who... Okay. I'll let them do their side stuff there. Lash is a very weird ability to hit. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to be here anymore. He might wall me, but he didn't. Yeah, no worries, bro. Couldn't let my boy get just instantly slammed like that. Uh-uh. 
Okay. We got buffs up. He sees it, I see it. We're gonna go there together. I would say hold hands, but, um... Well, he's a little snake thing, and he doesn't really have hands, so... A little tough for him, you know? He's just gonna do in Tiki Camp, which is fine. And you can see how easy we can clear with our... Autos, since we have all this golden shard blade stuff coming off of us. Can we fight this, perhaps? My teams always just give up free Stygians. I don't know what it is. Yeah, these teams are really hard to fight against. For me, like, it's just... Difficult squads to fight against. Another good thing about a build like this, though, you usually have pretty good objective shred, because we can just sit there and bury them with our auto attacks. Level 12 there, now we get a... What is it? 25 physical power buff for 5.5 seconds. Stun duration doesn't go up. That's always something to keep in mind. I'll gank left. I don't have uh, Envenomed yet, so I don't have Anti-Heal. And they could rotate over here. I don't have any wards to see them. Yeah, they told him. If we get this, though, that'd be really good. Gotta avoid this. Anubis. Yeah, unfort. I can't walk because of this fucking Bacchus ult. Get me out. Why the fuck aren't they nerfing that fat little hell? Oh no, Kern, there's a dude on you! He just walked into hell. Interesting. Ching Chin's a little lost. Kern completely whipped his last autos. Kukulkan is good, but... Maybe a little slow. Not in the head, like... Physically slow to showing up to fights, but he's able to get that. His, his one's gonna smack this Anubis, by the way, if he hits it. He did, but he couldn't get a kill, which is fine. He tried. Ooh! What a guy. What a guy. That's awesome. Well, oh, wait, let me, uh... Get a beats. That entire fight happened off me getting, uh, bullshitted to death, so... We'll take it. We will take it. I mean, you just can't play the fucking game when that stupid Bacchus all hits you. You're just stumbling around into walls. You can't move. They need, they need to be nerfed. I mean, he's just overpowered as shit right now. That's the only downside of this season. Like, it's fun. But they're not nerfing anything correctly. Because they're like, it's the fun season! And it's like, awesome, awesome. Balance something. <laughs> I can't play when Fat Man runs at me all day. And they're like, ah, yes, but fun season. And I'm like, no, no, I'm not having fun anymore. You've killed my fun. Thanks, buddy. I would like to kill that on me. I switch my, my targets on Artemis now. Bacchus is going to flop in. I'm going to wait to jump until he flops. I want to avoid his... Freeze if I can. Honest to God. Ooh. I'm just gonna stun him in this. Chop him up. That was awesome. You think we can do gold? I don't see why not. Yay. I don't want to tank it. <laughs> I'm using all my mana here because I want to get my serrated edge as juiced as possible for me. Stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it! Ah! Yep. Oh yeah, I'm definitely retreating, trust me. But first I'm gonna beat up some of these harpies. <laughs> that should be a full Venom, right? Oh my god, can you stop backing off? Huh? Are you scared of my raw power? I tried to record this one once, and I actually had the enemy team F6 at, um... 1600 at like 15 so i decided just to go for a full new match because i know people just click off for whatever reason when you have like a match a video like that with two matches even though it's like they're getting twice the content but i don't know trying to understand the minds of youtube viewers is a fleeting thing um but one of the things i talked about i was using the skin that i would have used this video had i not got a skin booster pop by one of my teammates which was Kali's uh, Nordic skins. 
um, which came out a very long time ago, and it was like 2015 or something, 2016, who knows, I don't know. But, point is, it's one of the first, I think it was the first event that I ever paid for, and it was a funny skin to me, because since then, they've released certain skins that are um, gender swapped and stuff, like for Thanatos, uh, and I like those skins, I think most of us do, but the skins on those ones are funny, because <laughs> they're like race swaps? Kali becomes white, which is less egregious because she's fucking blue, you know? Like, if you turned a smurf into a white guy, you'd be like, okay, not really weird because he was already blue, and that's, you know, not many humans are blue. There are some, but that's a medical mission. Um, and Shock is the other person that got one of those Nordic skins. That's kind of the weird one. They made my boy white, and it's just so funny. And it's like, yeah, he's like a classic Viking. It's like, it makes sense. Um, and it always cracks me up when I think about those skins. And I'm like, <laughs> they straight, they straight took my boy's melanin. <laughs> I'm just, that shit cracks me up. It's not like it was a bad thing or like hateful or anything. It's just hilarious to me. And they were like, this black god, make him white. And it's like, all right. Like, I'll do it. Oh, I just fat finger my beads. Oopsies. Well, I don't think I can help him now. But that doesn't mean we can't keep fighting. Careful there, big man. Where does this guy want to walk? Eh, he kind of walked away. I'll just clear this wave. That was good for us. They'll be able to kill Shock there. I saw him running away, and I was like, I can catch that. Could we just do Pyromancer, perhaps? Kind of seeing no reason not to. You just want to gank him, don't you? Okay. Sorry, Kern. He just wants to gank this guy. Let's kill these minions so that he has to tank tower. There we go. Okay, now we get it? No. Now we have to fight middle. I can't go in until I get someone to go with me a little bit. It's kind of the thing with this match. Okay, they're not going to interrupt this, I don't think. We'll actually stun this once it starts doing its thing. Unless it already has. There it goes. There we go. Pretty easy shred there. Let's go get this, uh, what I think is the last Hiki camp, if I'm not incorrect. This is where the game's going to start becoming difficult, specifically for us, because bull committing on a team like theirs that has so much CC is difficult for me. Uh, like I said, in the early game, it's like, they can knock up me with a flop. They can freeze me. They can Anubis wrap me. It gets really tricky for me to actually get in there and do what I want to do. And that's scary. Um, go ahead. So we're going to need to figure out a way to actually get in and look for our moments and fight these guys. Otherwise, it's going to get a little difficult. But we'll figure it out. That hastened is going to help so we can actually like stick on people. We'll need to get there, though. Right now, it's all about farming, in my opinion. Just getting ourselves to this late game here, getting ourselves to 20, and then we'll go from there. So be careful in the jungle. Because I really don't want them to fight without me too much. Because it's like, if they do fight without me, then I can't even, like, bait myself. That's the other thing. It's like, at the very least, I can bait myself a little bit, you know? And just be like, okay, I'm going to throw my body at these guys. And if it works, it works. Okay. Look at that already. Oh, hello there. Ah, <laughs> you thought you were going to get a purple buff. Okay, we got our Aegis. Turn my mouse like I wanted to there, but it worked. Um, she ages. Get our ages and a rolls out of that. <clears throat> we like that a lot. We'll get a full hastened here. Unfortunately, we can't get Invitum yet, but we can get a sentry board and we have a bomb. Ooh. Okay. That's a big kill. Not having their ADC there is good for our team, too. It's time for us to save up for our um, Boomba's Hammer and get to level 20. Are they going to do gold? I'm just farming. 
If they want to do gold, that's fine. <laughs> I'll probably put a ward on Fire Giant for us. And like I said, I just want to hit 20. They don't need me for fire by any means. They have perhaps the best mage in the entire game for secure. Arguably, you know, between Kukulkan and Ra, I'm pretty sure you can make an argument for either. Um, and also, you could say either is... Uh, that's not very good now. Either is just a good objective taker in general with their damage. Is she alone? No. Wow, you're a fun guy to play against. There could be anybody in this jungle. I gotta be a little careful. Stygian's up too, though. Let's heal off this camp. Wait for our jump to come up. Then we can heal off it big time. See that? Uh-oh. I don't have blink, and I'm only half health. And my target is shock. And there's no way I kill him. I need to heal off these back camps, or I'm just gonna die in this fight. You saw that hasten, though? I was able just to stick on her. Okay, that's a full heal for the most part. And we're level 20. And we have Blink. I'm looking at that Anubis. He needs to be my main target. Just gonna chop these guys up. I tried to jump on him, but unfortunately I couldn't quite hit it. You can at least get this. You wanna do this for me? And can you heal me, please? Sylvanas? I should have saved my stun there, but that's fine. I'll wait till it gets really low health, and then we can jump on it. Or just avoid this with it. Oh, I didn't avoid it. I don't want Shock to hit me. Where is Shock? Interesting. He's my target. And I would actually like to kill him, because I want to get my target off of him. Okay. Mr. Raider is fully... Stacky here, I need to get some lifesteal. This is gonna hurt from the thorns, but I need to commit. Okay, now my target's on Bacchus. We can go back and get Boomba's Hammer. So Boomba's Hammer is a little weird on Kali. But essentially, we want to jump on somebody, and then auto-attack them, and then stun, and then auto-attack, and then use R2, and then auto-attack again, if you want to get the max efficiency out of it. So it'd be like 1, auto, 3, auto, 2, auto. And that's how you get, as you can see here, so actually it doesn't show up, um, but you get 3 procs of it. And I use a lot of mana there to show you guys that, but <laughs> point being, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Can I get some farmies here? Now we have a lot more farming to do, to be fair, because we need to get... Let me get that farm. Goo -goo. Darn it. Um, I need to group up. I have my blink in five seconds. I'm going to look through the jungle here. Maybe I can get that Anubis. He sees me. But it doesn't mean I can't full dive him. Yes, it does. Yeah, I'm just looking at them. They're looking at me. <laughs> And I look at them, and they look at me. Oh, yeah. Didn't think you were going to get serenaded today, did you? Instant flop out. Fascinating. Okay. I'm going to hit him with these. Oh, yeah. Enemy Watch your left. left. I might walk into the jungle on that. Oh. I was thinking about sticking to him, but I'm actually going to go around the back of the tower, waiting for cooldowns. I'm just going to chop these guys up. Okay, I'm going to jump out before I take too much tower damage. And I'm going to say attack the fire giant. And I'll meet them there and we can chop it up easy. That was a really good go in from us. We just ruined their lives. They were not expecting a Kali to full send them on the back lines. I blinked in, immediately got the Anubis, and then just... It, the Jingxian had a really good ult there, by the way, to follow up. And I immediately just dunked on him. On my way. Attack. I have a ward as well, so in case they need it warded, I can do that. Make sure we use our abilities. 
Can't you move though? He's gonna flop in, but I'm not too worried. Now me or I am kinda worried about. I'm gonna put a uh bomb down. Yo, we got it. I'm gonna stick on this kid. It's kinda ruining my ability to hit him, but it works completely fine. We have minions all up in mid. I'm gonna stun him. We're just gonna stick on him best we can. Shoot. Getting hit by the fucking weed bus from Artemis over here. Is this up? I'm gonna do this really quick just to get some mana back and stuff. And also just take their buff. I don't have this warded, so I don't know. They could have it warded too, by the way. I'm gonna split push. I don't usually split push. I don't really respect it, but right now it's like we need to get some push on these kids. And if I get a T2 tower and force them into a double split on these phoenixes, it could be huge. Boombas does proc on towers, by the way, so don't be afraid to use your abilities. And I'll use my three here to get a power spike, and then I can hit this tower even harder. See, now they're trying to send people over here to fight me. Which splits their forces up a little bit more. Uh, we still have a Bacchus target. I'm just gonna go ahead and beat this guy up. I'm gonna commit. Nice wall. I didn't die, fortunately. Uh, but he can't keep tanking that. <laughs> Interesting. If he, um... Yeah, I was gonna say, just tanks it for me. I can go ahead and grab that. And they should get a middle bird. And we have one second on Anubis, so I'm gonna say retreat. And then... Yeah, I'm gonna go back to base. We need to get this, we need to get Stygian, and we need to get gold. So it's objective time. And let me see my fire giant. Two minutes left on that, so we have about three minutes left until another one spawns. Um... Get another... Well... I only have 2100. Let's get a full one of those. And then we can sell and go last chins. That's not too bad that he kind of fed himself there, but it's fine. I'm gonna say... Stygian gold. But obviously we really do want that pyro bomb too. And you can see our damage is pretty good here. I mean, it's gonna be hard to out damage. A Kukul Cotton. Uh, we're not really trying to either. I'm just trying to <laughs> do my own damage. Read the gold. Enemies in the right jungle. Okay. I'll let him be there. You want to tank this? Because I don't. And our tank won't walk over here. Yeah, glad I get to lose most of my health. Because this guy won't tank for us. I'm just instantly stunning him. Full heal. Easy. We can get, I mean, if we want to, like, do this, we still have fire, we can. Look at her. Can I catch her? Got it. On fort. But that commit was really good, I was able to kill her. I was pretty sure I was going to be able to get that. So I was full committed to it. I mean, look at our damage. 1,190, basically 1,200 from 8 auto attacks. 359 from our ult, 395 from our lash, and 314 extra <laughs> from the Odie bow. Mm-hmm. That's what we're looking for. And we killed that Abacus, too. We're not doing too bad. That, that's a good pick for us, because look, there's minions, fire minions pushing into left, and they only have one ADC, or, or one uh, carry, just in general, I should say, up, which is the Anubis, to clear those minions. The best clear they have is him and Artemis, so if we took out one of those clearers, that's good for us. Uh, they should just go get Pyro at this point, because they only have 30 seconds left on fire, and there's a minute left till it spawns. We need to get together and um, push something here. Now let me see. Chins is 2,600. How much do you sell for? 1,400? Cool. Let's get a full Chins, and we'll get a Red Pot too, once we spawn. And that'll be good for us. This will be some more penetration. Um, 
I kind of like the Amir focus. <laughs> Although having that target on the Artemis there wasn't bad either. Could upgrade one of my relics there, should have done it. On my way. And then... I'm going to wait for my yellow here really quick. I think we should just burn fire. Like, there's no reason why we're not burning fire when their entire team is dealing with two fire waves. This is why you get fire waves, and then you wait for another fire. You know what I mean? And they just killed Anubis. Oh, no, he threw. Look how fast we attack now. Oh, my God. Yes! You think we can do this now? I'm going to ward up here. It's a good spot out to make. Use all of our abilities so we get our serrated edge all the way up. And then we'll just lay out. I'll hit that Apogee for you, buddy. And I'll show you here, we're going to do some pretty good objective damage. Use our two, and then just secure with autos, hopefully. And then say, attack Middle Phoenix. We need to re-get these two. That'll be good for us. And you can see, 5,300 damage with our autos to the fire. And that's not including all of our um, hits of, like, Odebo and stuff. I'm actually looking at Middle. There we go. I'm the best spy master that ever was. I'm. Ah, I got my complete two on her. You can see her bleeding to hell and back, but couldn't quite kill. Look at that damage. <laughs> oh my god. If we had our carries there, we would have been fine. But either way, we were able to reclaim um, that middle phoenix. We killed Amir pretty easily by just committing to him with our ult. And more importantly than anything, we bought time for our carries to show up. Oof. I was going to say, hopefully he doesn't throw with that. But unfortunately, he kind of threw. They need to group. I don't really know whether... We need a five, man. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take some blame for that for going in, but it's only because my tanks were going in so much, and I guess I kind of trusted that they could have enough follow-up to secure more than one pick. And to be fair, the Artemis is 1 HP, but I, we, I just couldn't do it by myself, and I think they might have backed off a little bit when I was in there. Um, I'm not sure, though. I'll have to watch it back. The mirror was a good target, though. I might even just do the Artemis, because if I get her picked early... It's pretty huge for us. Okay. That's two Oni fire waves. We need to just win a fight now, straight up. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It just needs to be win a fight and end the game. You good there, buddy? You're gonna fight with me, aren't you? Yes. Good. <laughs> you assist me here, because they have to fall back and defend waves. Hello. We hit that last Phoenix with a little bit of Stygian. We can get that last bird. We want to. Why is he backing? No, no, no. Why did you just back? Buddy, 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 buddy. Oh my god. That's what we're looking for. Too bad I had to use my ult for that, but it's worth it. What do you mean I'm not the greatest? I just fucking slayed that kid. Oh, fuck me. I live, but uh, that sucks. You didn't secure that? Oh, wait. Just hit the Titan. Yep, there it is. Okay, I wasn't able to take top damage there, but gee, look at that damage on the Amir there. And 13. <laughs> I wanted 20-0. Oh, who said that? Google. Yeah, he was doing good. He was he was a really good mid laner. Just another solid team. I, that's... See? I'm positive when I get a good team, guys, and it's pretty simple. And that was a pretty balanced match, honestly. That's what we'd like to see. We'll give some commendations here. That was a nice one. Wasn't sure that was going to go. Oh, I just finished my pass, too. Yay. Let's check out the stats. 
32k oh he, he was 12k out there or 16k out there excuse me he was freaking flying bro you have a youtube don't you yes okay well, I, I recognize again that's i love it a little Bro, you literally didn't suck. I mean, can I have your autograph? <laughs> I caught you a couple times. Yeah, they did. Oh god, these guys are funny. Um, anyways, okay, I need to ignore them really quick so I can collect my thoughts here. Pretty good with structure damage, good player damage, good slash line. I mean, I didn't need to die that many times, but it's completely fine. And this guy was kind of just getting a lot of the kills, which I was also fine with. Um, but in the end game there, you can see how crazy this build was slapping. And did we have it full? Yeah, we did. Going for that change at the end there, really. You know, that's just what you want to do. Get out of that golden blade and go to the change, and then you're just chopping up everybody. And that felt really good, honestly. Um, yeah, shout out to Blue Regard K Kazoo, which is an amazing name. And don't be too hard on yourself, because I think you played really well. I mean, slash line isn't everything. You had... A good laning phase, honestly. I was over there a few times. My teammates were ganking solo a lot, so I know that made it tough for him. We had anti-heal and stuff, and I was sticking on their tanks when I could. So I think they played as well as they could have with like their comp and stuff being a little weird. I think they played well. Um, but it was just a fun match, and I really appreciate that. And if you appreciate the video, don't leave me like, subscribe. I very much appreciate that even more than anything else that's going to do for me today. So as always, have a great day.